private citizens. Unless you wear a badge, have worn a badge, have a spouse, parent, son, daughter, aunt, or uncle who has worn or is wearing a badge, you have no idea what being a law enforcement officer is about. You see us sitting in a cruiser, stationary in a park with our head down, sleeping, you think. In reality, we are probably working on a report. You see us cruising your neighborhood time and time again, overpaying and wasting the taxpayer's gas money. You see two, maybe three cruisers parked at a restaurant or coffee shop, goofing off, you think. In reality, we finally had a lull in the never-ending stream of calls for service for the first time during our shift and are wolfing down a meal. You see us alongside the road on a car stop, talking to a motorist, trying to make that ticket quota, you think. In reality, we may be assisting someone with vehicle trouble, giving directions, or handling a road rage incident. You see us talking to a group of young people at a basketball court in a park or on a street corner, harassing those kids, you think. In reality, we're trying to make a difference in young lives, trying to show today's youth that we, the police, are not the enemy, and that they alone have the ability to choose what path in life they will take. What you, the private citizen, don't see on a daily basis is the worst of humanity. You don't see the abused children, covered with bites from bed bugs and living amidst animal feces while a parent is out drinking, leaving the kids to fend for themselves. You don't see us sitting in the cruiser, crying, because we just handled a call involving the death of an infant due to neglect. We're crying because we have an infant at home, the same age. You don't see the officers absent from Christmas and Thanksgiving family gatherings because they had to work. You don't see us at our kids' sporting events and school plays because of the job. You don't see or feel the fear and apprehension when we get sent to a call involving a gun and someone who has already used it or fully intends to, knowing that we, the police, have to respond. There's no one else, no others but those of us who are sworn to protect the public. You're not there at 0400 hours, knocking on the door of a home and knowing you are about to devastate the family inside by telling them their only son, a 15-year-old, who had sneaked out of the home had been killed in a traffic crash. You didn't watch the distraught man locked in his car shoot himself. You, dear citizens, weren't there to witness those terrible events, those tragic incidents. We were. And we pay a price every day. Sometimes for some of us for the rest of our days on this earth. Next time you see a police officer on duty, Try not to jump to conclusions. Think about what you haven't seen and what we have. So today, we honor you, first responders, for all that you do to make our community a safe place to live. Please stand and give our fellow first responders a warm welcome for being here today.